Buds, I was just flying down here to start the video in the spider spawner, and this kind gentleman, sir, what do you have to trade with us? Get off the boat. Well, I guess we'll start the video up here. So hello, Buds, and welcome to episode 19 of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. I'm gonna leave you here, sir. You keep on... Yeah, you're looking at me a funny way. I'll see you around. So you might be wondering, hey, elephant, why are we here? And the reason for that is extremely simple. So let's go down into the spider farm. So recently I had asked myself, what could I do in this world without going on some mega build project like last episode where we built an entire library underground? That was a lot. I think today we are gonna really slow it down. As you can see, the spiders are being killed behind me. It's uh, it's very nice. And I'll decorate down here, you know, a little bit later and stuff, but look at all this string. And we can take a little visit into Isaac and Irene's shop. Hello, hello. I am actually gonna trade with you all of this string. That is perfect, actually, so. Let's go take a little visit to the trader, actually. Hello. Huh, what? Ooh. I will be buying some of these off of you. Let's, you know, let's just get a, let's get 25. Um, what else? I'll buy some fish from you. We can breed axolotls and let's get us some pink duck. So thank you so much for your time, sir. Okay, okay, but that wasn't what this video was supposed to be about. Let's head on into the Batcave to where the actual build will be. Oh man. As we're walking over to our library area, hmm, it looks kind of the same as last episode, but <gasps> what is that? A hole? Some would even say a doorway? What is all of this? What the heck? Well, guys, this is where I'm going to be putting the villager trading hall that I had also talked about in last episode. I was really vibing with this like checkered pattern because I feel like I don't use stripped wood enough. I have never made a villager trading hall. We attempted to make one in the little baby village nearby, but this, this is going to be like in my base. I got to make this look good. I got to actually... <coughs> finish it. So we have a lot of work cut out for us here, but I think the first thing we should get started on is, of course, blocks. In particular, there are these two block pallets that I have right in front of me. I don't know how good the dark and, and you know, kind of more like, oh, medieval type of aesthetic is going to work with the nice flowery princess aesthetic, but I think that it's going to be fine. I have gathered up all of the materials for this build. The pallets aren't gonna be like the end all be all. Each one of them are gonna have a very lovely little stall. I think they will be separate, but for the most part, these are all going to be the good enchantment villagers. I kind of like the green like that. Maybe we move these. Maybe in the middle here, we have like a two wide of normal green. And we can put some cracked stone bricks up there. Let's, let's actually put some chiseled blocks here. And what we can do, maybe here is where we bring in some of these bamboo planks. And then we can strip some of the, the normal bamboo. So it kind of looks the same. And oh, what would go here? Maybe just some lime terracotta. I actually really like that. That's actually so pretty. Like it's like a nice, like it's it's dark, but it's not too dark and it's like pretty, but it's not too like distracting from everything else. That's, that's awesome. And hey, maybe we can even put a villager right here. Uh, okay, I don't know what this hole's for. I, I honestly think we have enough space here to do it too. So I think I am going to just take this momentum that we have and we are going to keep chugging on forward. So not only does this look magical, but it's also practical, you know? It's also practical. So many hours later, I have finished the basic 
hallway that we're gonna be dealing with. Now, you might be wondering a few things like, why is there sand? What are all these? Huh? And what a giant hole? Well, guess what, guys? I I got a little ahead of myself. Hey, yo, what's up? Also, I got Sweet Nasty, which is a reference to uh, an event that actually happened in real life. I was able to see um, the Game Grumps live with Fireball Ninja. There was a guy called Sweet Nasty there, and he puked all over the stage when he was dancing so hard. I told Fireball that after Sweet Nasty, the true legend, my next pet would be called Sweet Nasty. I believe that I am going to put all different types of villagers in here, not just librarians. Over here, you can obviously tell there's a little bit more stony type. You know, we got a little bit more, hmm, seems a little bit more concrete. You know, if that was concrete, that joke would make more sense. But anyways, I think we should get started on what this first little house is gonna look like. We're just gonna put down a, a pretty generic type of thing here. Let's put the oak around. Let's put... Calcite? Well, not there, obviously. Maybe in the middle it's like stone brick. And then in the in the back it can be oak. And we can alternate it so it's not all the same. Ooh! Would that be okay? Hmm. And then we gotta have something bright on the ceiling, so. Okay, well that only took me um five minutes to make and we have all of these other ones, so. <laughs> God, why do I do this to myself? Yeah, so these are the basic, they're gonna be more for tools, as you can tell by the more industrial look. We have like these, let's pretend that these are like reinforced. We got these, ooh, mushroom blocks, you know, birch, all, all that, and it's really pretty. Like if I get a bunch of villagers that are like super good, like if I get mending efficiency five, actually, wait a minute, I do have a villager with efficiency five mending and silk touch, so, so, uh, got any games on your phone? Okay, well. The next thing we've got to get into is what are we going to do for these little stands? Having a lot of different types of builds could really benefit this place. So let's get us some sandstone. Let's get us some wood. Let's get us well, for freaking gravel bricks, deep slate. Uh... Crimson, yeah, that sounds bad, right? Uh, I think we should start off with this one. I replace these outer edges. We can put the warped, or would the strip warped look better? Ooh, I don't, I don't know. I think maybe a mix, a combination of these two could look pretty dapper. For those of you that don't know, I, you know, I'm an artist, right? I don't know anything about color theory. I'm just gonna go with this. This looks okay right now. I want something bright. <gasps> oh, diorites, my sweet baby boy. You've been, you've been waiting your time very patiently to see if you fit. Do you fit in? Oh, that's marvelous. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much, my boy. What if I do it like this? Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, that way it's like a proper alchemy thing. Holy crap. I am gonna have too much fun with this, so I am gonna go build all these and probably like watch the Barbie movie or something again. <laughs> Loading into the world on day three, four of this project? I don't even remember, it's been a hot second. There you are, Eggenbert. Don't worry. No, 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 don't try to escape. I mean, this is your house, okay? Where does this man want to go so bad? Okay, Eggenbert. 
I mean, he seems at home here. Maybe that's a good thing? And by the time that I snap my fingers, I am going to have all of these villagers already in every one of their homes. So you guys ready? Three, two, one. After literally 45 minutes, I have one baby villager. I might have severely underestimated how long this was going to take. Okay, well, I guess I'll be doing this over the course of the next few days. So, <sighs> yay. <laughs> Come on. Hi Butts, it's now November 28th. So it's been like over a month and I'm still working on this. Thank you all so much also for 2,000 of you Buds. You guys are amazing. And a picture on my wall, it reminds me that it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Hopefully the quality's better, I don't know. Do I look better? I don't know. Should I turn on my other webcam? This is what I look like in the original webcam. This is what I look like now. I'll tell you one thing, quality-wise, check out this hand here. Look at the difference there. Oh, so it is now day 1989 in this world. And we might have got, hello there. We might have got some stuff done. And we're gonna look at the right first because there's a lot of stuff there that we need to get to. So, um, there is a walkway. <laughs> there's this really lovely, like, I wanted to make these kind of look like stalls like um, like little shops, like stores. And I decided that in here, since I have a bamboo farm in Indu town, I was like, well, I'm in my base a lot. I can have one running in my base. We have some lovely little area for an infinite carrot farm. I originally tried to make a carrot and a wheat farm, but it turns out that these people only like carrots in this village for some reason, I don't know why. Follow it down, we got sweet nasty. We got Bodie McBoatface, because when I was um, waiting for all of the villagers to get in there, he kept sitting in a boat. And I don't know why he did that, but he just kept on doing it. So meet Bodie McBoatface. I don't have a name for this guy. Maybe you guys leave a name in the comments and I will I will give him one. Yeah, here is Anderson. Uh, the reason why her name's Anderson is because I was watching the librarian play um, Alan Wake 2 while I was doing this and I figured, I love those little time stamps that you can get in in a Minecraft world and gaming and video games, just in general really. Just that little like, ah oh, yes, I remember I was doing this when I made this. 
And kind of an industrial room here. We got a sugarcane farm because just like with the bamboo, we have one in Indu Town, but why not? Let's have another here. Now, the part that you've all been waiting for, we're about to go take a look at the Covert Commerce Hub. It's definitely not a name that I pulled off of fantasygenerator.com. We're not gonna go through everyone's trade because we'd be here all week, but this is our carrot guy. If I can get him to a one emerald trade for carrots, come down here, get a stack of carrots, bring them on up, and slap, hey sir, would you like a deal? Yes, sir, I would. And then boom, three, uh, Three emeralds right off the bat. Thank you so much, sir. That's at least the thought process. Do things normally go to plan? But it's, you know, we're gonna try it out. Here, I tried to get one of every villager for like everything. Mog Swamp made a video like this where he got every single enchant like in the game before the update. Um, He did a way better job than me. I... Also, something really cool with these guys. They trade one emerald for four glass. Now you have four glass, you know, four times three is 12. You run over to this guy over here, Mr. Carpenter Map Man. You can create with this glass, you can create 32 panes. And then with these emeralds, you can run back to the guy that we just bought the, the, the glass from, take the glass, run it back, do the little swing and then you can sell it back to him. And it's an infinite thing. Don't try it though, because it is very time consuming and you only gain like four emeralds per thing. So, but it's an option. So we have Whitney now. Now Whitney, she holds a special place in my heart, hopefully in all of yours as well. Uh, you haven't seen any footage of her, by the way. Now Whitney here, she wanted to go on an adventure. So let me just demonstrate kind of what she did. That's literally the path that she did, and I haven't. I've, I'm. In, I'm furious with that. That is. <sighs> so she's named Whitney because that's the closest thing to a nitwit that I could think of at the time. We got us a little fisherman. Pretty basic trades. One trade that I am really excited about, which I was actually seeing Wax Fraud do this a lot, was buying campfires. I didn't actually know that you could do that until now. And we already went to Map Man. Let's go to these Weaponsmith Men. They have iron, coal for sale. Here we go, we got some meaty boys. We're gonna have to make a sweet berry farm later as well as a kelp farm. But they both kind of have the same trades. Over here we have some more masons for more, more terracotta colors, more ways that I can sell and buy some stuff. Um, just, just make it a little bit easier on myself. I said before I don't like uh, destroying biomes for the terracotta, so I'm gonna be avoiding doing all of that. And let me just quickly go through and show you guys roughly what everyone's jobs are. I haven't quite finished this just yet because this is such a pain to do. We have Mr. Armory Man with pretty basic traits. I'd say that one's pretty good, but you know, they're all pretty basic. These guys are fascinating. The reason for it being one emerald, two redstone dust, one emerald, lapis lazuli four emeralds, which I can get down to one if I Zombonio these guys, I can get glowstone and I can get bottles of enchanting and for nether warts, I can get emeralds. And if this was the other way around, that would actually be a lot better because I have a crap. I'm, I'm literally drowning in ender pearls. If I make a piglin farm, then I can get a gold infinite supply basically. And I can get all of these different types of things as much as I want. There is a way to get a bunch of rotten flesh, but I have not figured it out yet. So this might be possible, I don't know. Now we're actually coming to about where I've been staying at for the last couple days. I really didn't want to record past day 2000 because as you can tell, we're getting there. That and I also like ran out of emeralds. So we're gonna have to Zombonio these bros. Also, if you guys are wondering why there are no iron golems, it's because I did this thing called a big gamer strat. I, uh, I put the golems underground. So we are going to be building the zombifier vacation. I don't actually know how to do this. So we're gonna take this back old school style by winging it. Oh, oh. 
But elephant, you can go on the, you can go on the wiki. You can go there. You can do this. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I'm thinking some type of grass. I'm thinking green. I'm thinking blue. Some cyan. Um, I actually went through and I placed all of the wool from our upstairs sheep farm into all of these categories. A lot of storage. That's the whole thing. This bad cave is going to take so many episodes. It's gonna, it's gonna consume my life for a while. It's gonna consume a lot of days for a while. But the good part is, is that I am not going to give up because we've got this. Uh. Do we have a name tag? I guess, oh, that's the good part about this. Hello there, sir. Sorry to wake you from your slumber. Oh, thank you for doing business. I'll see you later. Okay, name tag crisis averted. We're gonna actually name this guy Kaivon. Okay, Kaivon will be a man of knowledge. Why not give him a really nice little candle area? He can read under candlelight. Also, it is my birthday and on my classic birthday stream that I do every single year on twitch.tv slash villagerbuds, um, we started making like a little house up to the like far side by our B area. Now adventure awaits. It awaits us as we go. Hello, Kyron. Are you near? Are you here? Kaivon, my dear. I just realized, how am I gonna get this guy up here? Hey, Kaivon! No way, he's there! I knew you were in here somewhere. I, I thought I thought we had lost. Oh, you're not Kaivon, you're Kainita! Oh, if you could just, Kaivon, please do not die, bro. You were, you were so great at that. You're so, oh my God, you're, you're amazing. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Don't worry, villagers. It is just our friendly neighborhood, Kaivon. Kaivon, you're just gonna sit. No. Okay. Kaivon. And he can just live there. Let's get the potions ready before we just jump on into this. Okay. Of course, day 2000 would be like the hardest day ever. I've got to sit here and freaking go through all this. Okay, where is a water source that I have? Surely I have one up here. No. I really don't have a water source. Are you kidding me? Downstairs. I think downstairs. It is quite a beautiful world though. I must give it that. And oh, the sun is just setting. Let's go up to the tower. Come on, up, 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 up. We have to see the sun rise on day 2000. Literally earlier this year, we got to 1000, but in a couple seconds, oh, look at that sun coming up. I'm waiting for the day to change. Day 2000. Day 2000! But the grind must continue. So, sadly, we cannot, we cannot celebrate for too long because we have something, something even more epic even more amazing underway. I'm about to become a zombie doctor. I'm about to become the one who cures all. It's me. Okay, back home we go. We're gonna send them into Kaivon. Kaivon's gonna say, hey man, listen, you have a great life ahead of you, don't ruin this. And then he's just gonna slap him across the face once and we'll be on with it. Okay, are you ready, Megan? We. Oui. We are going to take you in. You're gonna say a little hi, how do do to Kaivon Megan. And it's gonna be great. So, let's see if I can just, one, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, I think Megan died. Kaivon is gonna go. Kaivon is gonna talk with you. He is not going to kill you. Lid, did you hear that bit? Did you hear that bit? You have to believe. That took a lot of golden apples and a lot of 
very hard work. So we have this guy here. I decided to get a random fisherman a test since Megan died. So this guy's good. This guy is uh, one paper, one glass pane and stuff. And you know, some banners. I didn't do anything to harvest these, but then. I now have five stacks of emeralds. And this is so annoying. This has caused lag in my game. And I have a beefcake of a computer. This this guy here has one emerald for one stone trade. I know that I said I wasn't going to make a stick guy, but then I was like, well, I gotta have a stick guy. So I got a stick guy, kaboomy, kaboomy. I mean, I got you, kaboomy, kaboomy. Uh, I'm low on this, boom. And also the reason why their trades aren't um, locking is because I have this mod called Tweakaroo that um, it can turn off villager trade locking. So this literally goes forever. This is an infinite thing, um, but I don't plan on abusing it. Scout's honor, you know? I would say that we are kind of good on emeralds now. Not that that was the point of this, but the point of making this trading hall was because I don't want to have to do all this crap again. It wasn't to abuse the emerald system. It wasn't to do any of that other crap. It was legitimately to have villagers that I thought were good and had good trades and boom bada bing. You know what I mean? I want all the enchantments. I want stuff like that. Like looting three. I don't want to have to go through and be like, oh, I really need curse of binding. I need to go grind for 28 emeralds in one book. Like now I just want to be able to buy the stuff I need, get it done nice and quick and simple. I think I might be good on emerald um, for a little while. <laughs> Not that I haven't even traded with them a lot. Oh my God. This guy doesn't even have a stall yet. There's still, there's still some stuff I have to build that I'm going to be doing live on Twitch, but Okay, so I finished recording yesterday, but I just had to share this little thing that I totally forgot about. Minecraft added in a pink cape. Oh yes, that's right. Why does it look so weird? Oh, I kind I mean, it looks okay. It's definitely not something that I'm gonna be wearing probably very often, because it's a little basic, but that reminds me of one other thing that I've been meaning to do for a while that I just haven't gotten around to. Okay, here's my trim. Designs. I write all this down, by the way. Mm, I kind of vibe with purple. Purple shoes. Kind of goes with my netherite tools. Pretty cool. <gasps> Wait, that looks so much cooler though. So I wrote down before that I wanted sentry, vex, or I. So let's just put in something. Oh, we should be like a Spartan warrior, bro. <gasps> that's that's it. That's it. That's it. Golden helmet. Obviously, you guys know what it is. Silence. And I think that the best looking color, although diamond looks great. I don't think you can do emerald. Oh, you can. Although diamond looks the best, like obviously, I saw a video where someone put copper and it looked really, it looked a lot cool. Oh no, it was gold. Check that out. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! So let's check out Silence. Silence could be cool. What would it be like with the gold? Oh, whoops. Silence. Okay, that does look really freaking cool. So does that, though. All of them look cool. How am I supposed to decide? Purple pants? Or the cool ones? Or green pants? I don't know! I actually don't mind that. I, I was thinking that that was gonna be a waste of a silence armor trim, but no, it's actually, it's actually really cool looking. Okay, I think I do wanna revisit the boots now that we kind of have our, our vibe going around. Okay, we have our vibe. Silence boots, question mark. Actually, what was the one that I wanted? I wanted a Vex one, did I? No, Spire, yeah, okay, the Spire one. I actually do really like the Spire one. Let's put that, that, and diamond. Let's try it out. That works so perfectly. You guys are probably watching this and going like, what are you even thinking? That looks so ugly. But no, no, it doesn't. Not to me. Uh, it is beautiful. 
uh, I'll let, I'll let, uh, past me, future me, I don't even know. I'll let, I'll let the video go now, so thank you. <laughs> As of right now, I think I'm gonna leave this video here because it has taken me a month and it's my birthday and I think that I'm just gonna mess around and have some fun and probably play on this world without stressing about like, oh, I need to record this and I need to do this. I'm just gonna play and have fun. So yeah, buds, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and join the village today. It's only a click away. <laughs>